Welcome to the practice videos for Lesson 12. This video is for the students who are making up their own music. So in Lesson 10, we introduced 16th notes, groups of four to the quarter note. And what I'd like to share with you today is how to bring those 16th notes into your left hand. So in the music on the second line of this page, you see this thing under the bass, right? You might say, well, why are you talking about the bass, man? That's so many notes, right? So the bass really is the underpinning of the chord. And then the other things come on top of it. There's the B. There's the A, even though that's an F chord and back. So in the beginning stage, you can kind of stay close. You want to learn that pattern, right? I'm adding the pedal like we talked about last time. And it creates this effect of this rolling rhythm. Everything is moving forward. And that's particularly effective when you have a song like where a person is singing and they're holding out long notes. So this works very nicely when the melody is moving slowly. Okay? So that's, a, that's one of those big ideas that can really help. Let me just show you what's possible. I'm going to take this rolling 16th note in the left hand, and I'm going to make it fancy. I'm going to do those open chords we talked about, and I'm going to start to add chords and different things so you can really see how the left hand can support a melody and make it sound really cool. So let me just op uh, open things up here. So what I was doing is I was thinking and hearing the chords, like the C chord, the stuff that we've talked about that we put into those eight measure things. And those chords, remember, like the C chord, C, E, G. You know, there's, there's three notes. And what you do is you reorganize them. Right, and then I'm going down. And because I have played those in many, many songs, I can think of the chord and I can get the sense, it's basically the motive, which is a collection of melody notes and rhythm notes. And in this case, they're running, you know, they're all going. And then what happens is it, I'm hearing the melody and I'm hearing what chord would go really nicely coming up next. It's kind of like I'm playing and I'm listening to where the music wants to go. There's a real logic to songs. If you do this enough, what happens is you start to realize that, well, melodies fit with certain chords and certain notes go here and, and you just sort of take your own style and it starts to develop things you like to hear and they start to come a little bit more automatic. And the reason it's working for me in that piece is that mostly I'm thinking about the melody and I'm thinking about the chord. I'm not thinking about all these tiny little notes all over the place because I see them as groups. So the way you teach yourself to do that is through the scale, where you're starting to play your eighth notes and your sixteenths. 
groupings of notes. You start to get used to hearing groupings of notes. And then when you go to play and the notes are going by quickly, you're still thinking pretty slow. So anyway, that's kind of how that works. And I've just been doing it for quite a while. I wanted to give you uh, an example of something that can happen when you're rolling with your 16ths like that. Okay? Thank you so much for joining me for these lessons. I've really enjoyed it. They're really designed for the beginning player to about the intermediate level. And if you want to continue on, um, some of the teachers here have private students, that, and that's really a very fast way to learn. I have a group class that we do live. Give, it'll give you an opportunity to share your music. You can play it. Uh, you can get uh, comments and suggestions. Um, and I'm really looking forward to meeting some of you. And uh, thank you again for participating in these lessons. It's been a joy to be able to share them with you. Take care.